Oh, let it burn. That's, that's just good. Let it burn, dude. It yeah. just clicks. I'm going to turn this down before I get copyrighted. Just why do men have nipples? I don't know. Because of the X and Y chromosome. I guess. But if you suck on my nipples, it's not going to feel the same way if I suck on your nipples, right? Honestly, my nipples, they feel, I feel nothing. You just look funny if you just have like white skin. I've got big nipples too, you know that, right? Oh, her nipples are huge. Is that what is surgically like improved or something? This girl had the biggest fucking nipples, man. It's like her areola was like regular. Like she had the areola of like my nipple. But the tip of her nipple, it was like, it looked like a lung puncturing medical piece of equipment. Like something you'd go into hospital and they grab the nipple and they go bang, hole in the lung, let's work on it. Like you know when you see like fried tempura, like sushi, and it's got like that that nipple on the other end, like the, like it sticks out this much. That's how big her fucking nipples were. You'd be able to knock people out with this cheeks tits, I swear. Normal people are like twenty to one dollar coins, she's a fifty cent. It's crazy. It's like very attention grabbing. Like when I walk by, I just want to stare at it. I got a couple of announcements to make this video. Number one, nine eleven was a conspiracy. Number two. We're doing a group ride to Adelaide next year for the tour down under. I'm leaving a Facebook group in the description. I'm here to emotionally support Jess while she watches TV. I need a fucking hash brown. Well, we don't have gems here. Gems where? Do you sell gems here in the fast It's illegal to sell gems in Australia before 9am, Jess. In, uh, in Singapore, they sell gems in Dippin' Maple. Are you fucking happy, man? This is extra fucking cardio, bro. Maximal burn. No, you're not using that machine. What that machine? The Kai Green machine. I don't want my glutes to get too big. Feel like a fucking pelican. Let's go. That reminds me of when I used to be like full in bodybuilder mode. I feel like I'm in full bodybuilder mode right now. Like I used to sit on that shit and just do 200 calories three times a week. I was jacked as fuck. Claim to fame, baby. I'm coming back. Amateur Olympia. Mm -hmm. Jess, you know, I'd be in the Olympia if I didn't have a gyno. You know that, right? My mum used to make fun of me because I had titties. And then I'd go to bed and start crying and shit. And I'd touch them. I'd go like this, Jess. I'd go like this. I'd be like... The squeeze. I'd squeeze them and shake. One day, um, am I going to start lactating? Like, is that a fucking thing? It's too cold, bro. No, no, it's cold. It's a cold fucking world. Because we You should say you're lucky that you have big, muscular fucking man to take care of you. I run through a brick wall for you, mm -hmm. and I also get food for you. I walk through the fucking desert for you, so and I and I fucking train a herd of camels for you. Let's go. Go I wasn't actually kidding about that group ride before, man. We're actually oh. riding to Adelaide in a group next February to the Tour Down Under. January. It's gonna be the real Tour Down Under. January, whatever, same shit. I mean, Glucose Network, Peloton. So, if you're fit enough to ride 25 minutes on a stationary bike at your home gym, you're fit enough to come. If you give up, we'll induct you to the Hall of Shame and put you on the cart with Jess. What car? I'm taking a plane. No, you're taking car! Who's driving? You! I'm not driving! I get my mum to drive, it's okay, I love you mum. I remember two years ago, man, I came to Melbourne, I had no money, and I felt like being the most haram motherfucker on the planet, so I came here and I spent one dollar on playing pokies, and I didn't win. And then from that day forward, I said, Adula, you don't deserve what you don't fucking have, me." We're on the way to get PV2 right now. It's about two kilometers from my house. That's how I like to have it. I like to have a two kilometer radius between my house and any shop that sells PB2 at any given fucking moment. <gasps> I know, dude. They didn't have the original. Oh, can I try this? You can try it. Hey. You never want to try the protein bar, bro. No, I don't want to try the protein bar. Check out this shit. Did you eat this in Singapore? Peanut butter chocolate chip. I discovered these in Singapore. This shit's crazy. Eat two of these a day, you're going to look like Jay Cutler, aka okay? you're going to look like me. Look at the color profile on that. Oh, that PV2 would be really nice. You know how the... good this would taste if I didn't need to take a piss? Too bad. Oh my god. I can smell the chocolate as well. PV2 is a lifestyle. I don't want any of you fuckboys in the comment section being like, I'm doing a PV2 is not real peanut butter. I fucking know that, dude. It's a topping. That's why I'm topping this delicious protein bar with the best topping on the planet. PV2, sponsor me. Boy. Oh, Sorry, bro. Have a good one. I'll see you out there, alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'll 50 cents. You know it, bro. Hey, can I get a hash brown? So, Thursday's kind of like a sit at home and be a fat fuck day. So, after my trainer session, 
I went to McDonald's and got a hash brown, and then to top it off, I went to Hungry Jack's. And then just when I thought I was done, I saw this Inari at this sushi shop that I couldn't let myself walk by. Holy fuck, that's the biggest Inari I've ever seen. That's like a fucking nuclear bomb. Can I get that seaweed Inari, please? Thank you. Some things you just can't walk past. Jess, I know I said I was gonna boycott Sushi Sushi, but with an Inari the size of that girl's titties yesterday, I couldn't stop. Oh, this isn't even Sushi Sushi, no, what the that's fuck? Like bigger. No wonder, I walked past, I was like, how the fuck did Sushi Sushi get so big? I retract my Sushi Sushi statement. I retract it, let's go. It's the rice noodle delivery man. Oh, you. He's a fucking hero. Let the sun kiss inspire you. Look how potent the fucking oil is. It's gone through some plastic cardboard type shit. Look at that. This is the Hungry Jacks one. Look at the profile. Holy fuck, dude. That sounds like my childhood. McDonald's one. I want to say that the Hungry Jacks one is a bit thinner and longer. Has less of a girth. What I'm looking for is crispiness. We don't want this to be... What's the word I'm looking for? We... Soggy. Uh, yeah, so moist. don't ever say moist again. Don't say it. Moist is like a word that you never want to hear a family member or a loved one used. So God forbid this tastes moist. You hear that crunch? Yes. You're not playing fucking games. You know what? Back the fuck up. What, what toothpaste? Fuck. Straight away, did you hear the crunch? This is the soggy one out of the two. Yeah, I heard the other one had more crunch. Mmm. Oh, you know why? Because they fry onion rings. Oh, you right, baby. Oh. I want onion rings. You're so smart. Oh, I want onion rings. Oh, calm down, calm down, man. I don't want you to get too sad. If you're after straight crunch and minimal sogginess, minimal moistness, get the Hungry Jacks one, okay? But the thing is, like I said, it's got less of a girth and it's longer, aka that means it's more fucking crunchy. Now, with the McDonald's one, it's more thick. I like everything thick. You know that by now. I love thick women. I would go McDonald's because you're going to get more value in the potato. If you don't like hash browns, I don't understand you. It's like people who fuck their sisters. I'm still sitting here trying to understand why they did it. There's this guy, there's this guy who's in love with his mom. Was it his sister? Yeah. You're on camp? In town? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. No, I'm droning, dude. I'm in the park. Alright. Alright, I'll see you there. I'll right, see you, mate. Take me with you. I love this haircut. Yeah? It's so good. Thank God, we're matching now. My time might never come. But what I is, don't care. What is sustainable to you? What is. Do you know? Enough like, where I don't have to get up in the morning and worry about, like, worry about splitting pennies over a fucking kilo of broccoli, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's fun making good stuff yeah. and not getting the recognition you think you deserve. It makes me more, it makes me feel like I want to run through a wall. Yeah. It's empowering to know that you're good and like, and that like you're under the covers, like you're not exposed. It's cool, I love it. It's like a challenge. Yeah. You know, and it's even funner when you do well and no one gives a fuck and then you try and do better and no one gives a fuck. People keep not giving a fuck, it's even more fun. Yeah. It's just fun. Tears, exactly. Tears. Fucking tears. There's dude. so tears. I keep they? saying tears all the time now. Feeling good now? Feel much better. Much better? Let's go to fucking revolver. You go young again, mate. Don't ever say revolver again. See you later, you cracking human. Thanks for fucking tears, mate. Tears. I bet you start saying that in your vlogs. Yeah, fucking. I've been saying it at home. Tears. Jess told me today. She's like, oh, the weather's fucking tears, mate. Mate, your your viewers are gonna get sick of me. They're I've been. They love I'm... you. They're gonna get fucking addicted to you. I'm gonna <laughs> cut that out. See you guys. Be later. safe on the way home. There's a lot of tears drivers out there. There's tears drivers. Tears, mate. See ya. See ya, mate. You have very soft skin, mate. Asians have the softest skin. Number one rule in life. Like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your mum, share, 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 share,